I would not be surprised if I wandered this big area. If there was something somewhere. If you can imagine. I don't want to wander this area. That was cool though. I like that. Let's um. We have ability points. Better levitating all the time. All the time. I got confused. I thought I'd like threw that away. Kill enemies. Oh, uh, research is where the thing is, right? I think so. Yeah, it should be. Oh, uh, let us go to execution. Real quick. So I can uh, change into. Also, we have the janitor's outfit. And look at that. Yeah, all of that was uh, my controllers. That's cool. Oh, yeah, controller really feels like being. Huh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm working here. Alright, civvy clothes are cool. Um Hello again. Anything new from you? Probably not. Hi, Jesse. Probably not. I should get going. Don't let me hold you up. I'm gonna assume I mean we just talked to Addy and got his cassette player. So I'm going to assume that we are not going to have any more side quests from him. I, I would say also, realistically, if we got an outfit, that seems like an end point of a side quest. So I'm going to assume that we don't have to go back there. Uh, research was where Ashtray is. Good stuff. That was a wild ride finding... Addy doing wacky stuff. Um, okay. So am, am I gonna just put it on? I do have it on. Oh. Oh. This is kind of wild. This is... Isn't this the song that was... Oh, there's guys here? How'd they get in here? This was the, um... Song that was in that clock puzzle. I feel like I shouldn't have, a. Uh, <laughs> Let's go, dude. I kind of feel bad that I heard this in the DLC. Everything's just going nuts. How much detail did we have on the um the ashtray? Besides it being a maze. Bye, guys. Oh, never mind. I guess I'm still fighting you. Yeah, still missing things. Oh, 
Like, part of me wants to explore, but with the music going, I'm like, yeah, let's get, get moving. So, um... I, I wanted to ask, I guess, since this was in the base game, um, was there any indication that this was sung by the guys in Alan Wake in the base game? Like, if I just missed a, um, a lore dump about that? Or was that only added in? I guess, because it's a real band. I guess if you can figure that part out, you can figure that lord aspect out on your own, huh? So I guess it's not really that big of a like addition. Like two ways I could go. Is this a little hidey hole? Oh! I could have dealt with them. I dealt with some of those guys. Now see, this doesn't seem like a song at you would have listened to. He had his tango. Nope. Are we heading down? No, we're heading up. Lost track of you, buddy. Don't stuff would definitely work a lot easier. I oh hello. I wasn't ready. Okay. It's not helpful when I don't know where the exploding guys are coming from. I did hear about the ashtray maze being cool, and I was not prepared for how cool it was. Kind of wish it was a little bit more of a fade for that. Oh, look, she actually animates putting... Ooh. Oh, it did... Um, I think we got it the same way we got the uh, f uh, Tango as a thing. Um, no unique procedures required. The object is a steel ashtray with a maze engraved on its bottom. An ever-burning cigarette rests in it. When bound, the object allows paralatarians to create a maze of shifting corridors without adjusting the dimensions of the space around it. The maze forms wherever the object is placed. Only the binder can navigate the maze, though they may allow others through. The object is currently bound to Director Trench. The object was discovered at by a team of rangers sent at a, to a care facility to the elderly that had become the center of numerous missing persons reports. Local authorities also disappeared inside after responding to reports. Agent discovered the object in a... Which indicates it was the source of the disappearances. The whereabouts of the missing person are still unknown, though they are presumed to be lost in the maze. Um, and then we... Got, I believe... Yeah, Old Gods of Asgard. So it would have definitely been an indicator then. By uh, getting that... Yeah, that was definitely a, like, keep moving, feel it going. I feel like I'm in control now. Delete these. Awesome. Yeah, that was awesome. Sorry I interrupted you, Jesse. Oh. Oh, oh damn it. I should have just played it. What was it? 
side scrape. We used the slide projector. I led the expeditions into Slidescape 36. They told me not to go. The director should not put himself in danger. I told them to fuck off. I've seen action before and I had to witness this myself. To find some meaning in all of this. I couldn't sit on my ass. Alone with my thoughts, my memories. Anything but that. Those who survived were deeply affected by what we found there. Dog Neil? By what Darling brought back. It changed everything. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing remains to be seen. But I did find my meaning in that desert. A sound like a needle drilling in, cutting through the containment suit and reverberating in the base of my skull. My whole being. Darling said it was nothing, but he was wrong. It's been there ever since, growing into a certainty, into an understanding of what's at stake here, what kind of a threat we're facing, and what must be done to stop it. Okay, he's gonna basically say that stuff right now. Expedition into Slidescape 36. What Darling brought back changed everything. Yeah, there was a lot more to it though, so at least it's good that I listened to it. Janitor complaint. Has anyone else seen that janitor mopping up around here? Isn't this a restricted access area? Who gave him permission to come in here? And how the fuck did he get through the maze? I mean, it's clear that he's like... Yeah, part of all here. this. Finding the projector was how this all began. What started in ordinary ends here. You, me, Dylan. We've all come full circle. Okay. How big does this area look? Oh, not very big. The whole uh, blackout was the maze. That makes sense. This isn't like the end, is it? I mean, it would make sense for it to be the end, I guess. Sand memo. To all Dimensional Research staff, I've heard that numerous people have been complaining about the sand piled up around Dimensional Research. The sand is precious- uh, Was he literal about the desert? Sand is precious research material from an, a foreign dimension and will be examined more thoroughly when I have the time. If you attempt to clean or dispose of the sand, I will bar you from any future research endeavors. You will spend the rest of your career looking envelopes in a cubicle staring at the cat poster. Do not touch my sand! So, I mean, considering what Jesse said. Oh, the sand! And with what the uh, last hotline we just got implies, it kind of sounds like the um, trench was what brought the hits in. Yo, had drawn resonance though. Let's go. A lot of sand. Like the color. There was a doorway here. To where Dylan and I went, where the projector took us, where we met you. The bureau opened the same door here, but there's just an echo now. Are you close? Just on the other side? That big room looks like a boss zone. I don't know if I should try to explore or... Actually, that almost looks like an elevator. 
That doesn't work. I guess I'll let us see what's in there. Alright, let's see what's on the other side. In the projector. Yeah, visually that looks pretty cool doing that. Stand away from the frame when emergency lights are on. Maybe now I go backwards. Just through this door. Oh, don't fall. No bonus notes. The projector's not here. Moved again. What did Darling do with it? I've got to find out. <laughs> Man, Darling's a cool guy. The projected image from each slide is a a physical portal into another dimension. Only one slide remains. And Dylan's sister burned the rest in ordinary before we could intercept. The text on it, color slide film, this side towards screen, and the number 36. The topography of slidescape 36 bears deep wave marks. On the slide and in the distance, there's a formation of five pillars like crude, outstretched fingers. There were casualties on our first expedition but communication is an issue there is no sound there as if you've gone deaf and radios don't work correction a resonance from an unknown source in part within the range of audible frequency it acts in unpredictable ways causing feedback loops that can tear you apart trench insists he heard something else it made his ears bleed our equipment found no evidence of anything beyond the primary resonance. Trench's medical tests show nothing amiss. Oh, God, I had to sneeze. My bad. So, did we ever... The oh, was this it? From each slide is a, a physical portal into another dimension. Yeah, this is the same one. Dylan's sister burned the rest in ordinary before we could intercept. Why would I do something so bold? Um. Did we ever learn why Darling became paranoid and started doing the, um, the things to protect people? Because right now, like, if Trench was the one that brought the hiss in through the desert projector, um, did, at what point did he, like, say, oh, there might be an issue here? There might be, it might be a, a little bit of a problem. I still not use this elevator? I assume it was just for a shortcut, but maybe once we're done with all of this, we'll open the big gate. This seems important. The slide projector only works with slide 36. Logically, this means the slide itself is a part of the object of power or a distinct altered item. But of course, I had to make sure no other slides worked. I had to try. Thought maybe emotion had something to do with it. Connection, history, love. I brought in my parents' old slides. Birthday parties, vacation. That sounds really bad. 
vacations in Niagara Falls, my first day of high school, that kind of thing. There were two boxes worth. I had to dig around the garage for an hour to find them. Never once thought of looking at them since they passed. I tried them all. I waited until all the staff left for the night. I stayed up in that booth for hours, trying every one. Projector off, slider out, slider in, projector on, nothing happens. Projector off, slide out, slide in, projector on, nothing happens. Love wasn't the common factor. There's no correlation that I can see. Maybe the slide itself is the object of power. Maybe the projector is just an accessory. Maybe it doesn't matter. Why'd that fucking kid have to burn the other slides? Hey, that's rude. I mean, did you guys try using the slide on a different projector? Because that seems like a good idea. Maybe. I'm no scientist. Our Herdron of the Herdron Resonance are arguably the greatest assets this borough has ever possessed. The security of Hedron is unspeakably vital, which is why we have from the majority of Bureau employees. This report details the containment procedures required for the Hedron Containment Chamber, including details on the being pumped into the containment cell, mechanical upkeep of the re resonance siphons, and the arrangement of the acoustic pillars to dampen or amplify the sonic range of the chamber. Note, for more information on the proper operation procedures of the resonance siphons, an additional report is coming soon. What do the hexagons mean, darling? I could also be dense. There's some stuff that I maybe just didn't realize. Or correlate it or connect it. Uh-oh. Well, I was going to say uh-oh, but look at this. Oh, right, I forgot that it's a double. I was wondering why it wasn't working. Three. We located the source of the resonance in Slidescape 36. It is an entity, a living organism of a considerable mass. I I've named it Hedron based on its physical shape. Hedron? We 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 we've built was a that for it. you? Did he bring you here? Is that why you brought me here? You're here. You're here. They have you. I know you. I remember her from ordinary. I thought I'd never see you again. We got something weird. What was final message? We didn't finish this one off, right? Expedition 3. We located the source of the resonance in Slidescape 36. It is an entity, a living organism of... Hey, we might have finished this because this is only a minute long. I, I've named it Hedron based on its physical shape, the part that we can perceive. I honestly think there's... The resonance it emits... The frequencies? We've, we've never seen anything like it. We, we, we've built a container for it, and, and we brought it in. This changes everything. It, it's beyond our understanding. We have brought so many questions with us through that hole in the wall. I will dedicate... <laughs> I'm never going home. No wonder he's insane. What's final message? This is after he was crazy. I'm Dr. Casper Darling, and this, this is my final message. It's not the end. 
But after this, I won't. I won't. I exposed myself to Hedron Reznor's fully. It, it is. It's changing me. I've. I've seen. I've been shown so much. Slidescape 36 was where Hedron stopped the spread of another. It's, oh, it's terrifying. It really is. It's another source of resonance. Trench was exposed to this other. It will now spread. I've done everything I can to stop the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I, I don't know if it'll make a difference. I, I, I won't be here when it happens. I, I should have told them any more. I'm being said one more lesson. Something wonderful, I think. Okay, yeah, well, that answered questions I had, like, completely there. It makes sense. So Polaris told him, "Hey, you might you might want to do some stuff cuz you're letting the bad juice come out. I was I was holding them back. You done goofed." Oh, this is the final message. Okay. It's kind of awkward when I just get a thing that tells me that you got something. I'm like, "I got to look at it. Didn't know where it came from." I'm gonna just skip by that since we already listened to it. Now I can use this elevator. Through here? You are coming through so strong. Darling, use this HRA to lock the door. I have to rip it off to get in. Are you sure? Okay, I'll be there. Hang on. I like how I was questioning it, but I'm in the middle of undoing it right now. <laughs> 